the CCNA or the Network Plus? Which certification is actually going to get you hired and lead to a job? Back when I got into IT, I took both the Network Plus and the CCNA. One gave me the foundation I needed, and the other actually got me promoted. In 2025, a lot of people still ask, which one should I take? Today, I'll discuss cost, difficulty, exam topics, resources, and most importantly, what impact they will actually have on you getting hired. Okay, so first things first, what are these two certs and who are they actually meant for? The Network Plus is CompTIA's vendor neutral networking cert. It's broad and it really covers networking fundamentals without going too deep. Think of it like networking 101. The CCNA, on the other hand, is Cisco's associate level networking cert. It goes way deeper routing, switching, CLI, Cisco-specific commands, and it is often considered the networking cert. Network Plus is usually going to help you land help desk, desktop support, or junior admin roles. And CCNA is more aimed at network admins, sysadmins, and anyone who really wants to touch routers and switches. Next, let's discuss the cost and time commitment for each of these certs. The Network Plus is gonna set you back about $350 for the exam. Most people can prepare in one to two months if they're starting fresh maybe even faster if you have IT experience. The CCNA is about $300 for the exam, which is kind of funny, but it usually takes three to six months of solid study because you're gonna be doing labs and configuring interfaces and really getting your hands dirty into the nitty gritty of how network traffic flows. It's super fun, but it's a lot more in depth. And once you have these certs, both require renewal once every three years. Cisco gives you the option of taking a higher level cert like CCNP, or you can just do continuing education credits. And then likewise with the Network Plus, you can get a higher level cert like Security Plus, that'll renew it, or you can do CE credits as well. And to decide between them, you gotta know what each exam expects of you. Let's stack these domains side by side. So the Network Plus is gonna cover pretty broad fundamentals. You've got networking concepts, things like how data moves around the OSI model. That's that seven layer model that people love to quiz you on with things like the application layer, the transport layer, the network layer, and the physical layer. You'll also touch on IP addressing and some basic subnetting, mostly being able to calculate ranges and read CIDR notation. There's not actually really any live configuration. And then there's infrastructure. You're going to learn about switches, routers, hubs, wireless standards and cabling standards. And they're also gonna include a little bit of network documentation, how to monitor, document, and follow policies in a professional environment. You'll get a section on network security basics, things like firewalls, authentication methods, and common attacks you'll see. And then finally, you'll touch on the troubleshooting methodology. This is basically like the step-by-step -step process for how you diagnose and fix IT problems. And this is probably the most useful part of this test. Now the CCNA is where you're gonna feel like you're actually doing networking, not just learning about it. You're gonna get the network fundamentals again, IP addressing and subnetting, but this time you're applying it in real configurations. You're setting up troubleshooting and breaking networks as opposed to just doing math problems. And then there's network access, things like VLANs, trunking, spanning tree, ether channel. And again, the cool part about this is you're actually building up and breaking networks in this program called Packet Tracer as opposed to just having to read and memorize definitions. For IP connectivity, you're going to dive into things like OSPF, how default routes work, Again, with the CCNA, you're actually typing in commands, breaking things, seeing where traffic, network traffic flows and where network traffic doesn't flow. And you are going to be reading a ton of routing tables. I seriously think the CCNA was like 50% routing tables. They're also gonna test you on things like IP services, NAT, network address translation, THCP, DNS. This is stuff you're gonna configure in a lab and then immediately recognize in the real world. And security gets deeper with the CCNA too. You're gonna see things like ACLs, ACLs, and device hardening. Instead of just hearing firewalls are good, you're going to be actually setting up access lists, allowing and denying traffic to and from certain subnets within the network. This is really cool. And finally, there's a bit of automation and programmability, APIs and Python basics. Cisco basically wants you to see where the future of networking is going. As far as I understand, the CCNP is a lot heavier on coding and things like this. The big difference here is everything is hands-on with the CCNA. Packet Tracer or GNS3 makes you build big and beautiful networks and break them and troubleshoot things real time, like as if you were working on a real network. Again, that's what makes the CCNA so powerful. You're actually practicing the real thing as opposed to just trying to memorize something. Basically, Network Plus is like a survey course. CCNA lets you configure and troubleshoot for real. So how hard are these exams? As I'm sure you could guess, the Network Plus is more beginner friendly. There's no experience required, no CLI, and it's mostly just concepts and terminology. There are still a couple of performance-based questions, but it's mostly things like dragging and dropping and understanding the OSI model and different network devices and stuff like that. The CCNA, on the other hand, definitely had a steep learning curve. I think there really is no faking it with this exam. You must be comfortable in the CLI configuring all of the things that I previously mentioned, and you must be comfortable using subnetting in the real world. For me, the 
the hardest parts of CCNA were spanning tree and OSPF. On the network plus, it was mostly things like memorization. And for a lot of people, it's their first introduction to subnetting. So I guess that could be considered pretty difficult. After this, it's just ports, wireless standards and stuff like that. So what are the resources that are actually gonna get the job done for these two exams? For the network plus, I highly recommend Jason Dion's Udemy course and practice tests. This is what I use to pass my network plus, And these tests really are the closest to what the actual network plus test is gonna be like. I left a link in the description for you to check them out. That's an affiliate link. So it helps me at no extra cost to you and understand I would not put my name to something that I did not believe in. If you can take those tests and consistently get above an 80%, you know you're ready for the Network Plus. Many people also swear by Professor Messer on YouTube. He has a course. I did watch it. I found it a little bit boring and I've been clear before that I don't love Professor Messer. I will say though, for the subnetting section of Network Plus, his seven second subnetting tricks really did help me out. And then I always recommend using AI to make practice tests and practice questions before you actually go into the exam. Again, CCNA is a different beast and it's gonna require a different skill set. but we're in luck and we have a savior. The only guy that you're gonna actually have to follow to be 100% ready for the CCNA is this guy on YouTube, Jeremy's IT Lab. The course is 100% free. This is gonna come with Anki flashcard decks of about 2,000 cards. Anki is a spaced repetition app that works really well to like get all of this information into your head. And his series also comes with Packet Tracer Labs that are already pre-prepared for you. So you can go in knowing what you have to learn and actually configure stuff without having to start from zero. I did each of these labs probably three to five times and they were clutch. And then another great resource for the CCNA is the Boson XSIM practice tests. I actually prefer these over Jeremy IT Lab tests. I feel like they're the closest to what the actual CCNA was. They're $100, so they're a little bit expensive, but in my estimation, they were really worth it. Okay, so which one should you go with? If you're brand new to IT, go with the Network Plus. It's gonna build confidence and a good foundation. If you already have some IT experience or you're gunning for network roles, go for that CCNA. It's gonna be a challenge, but you're not gonna regret it. And then a solid stacking strategy is getting Network Plus first, then CCNA, and then going to some more specialized certs like Security Plus, AWS, or Azure, or CCNP if you wanna be a networking beast. And last but not least, what was the real world job impact for me? Network Plus got me interviews for real IT help desk jobs, tier one jobs. It's gonna show that you understand networking and it is definitely useful in showing a recruiter that you know something. To be honest, I think it's one of the most useful entry level CompTIA certs, but understand it doesn't hold a ton of weight in the IT industry. It doesn't get you a lot of respect. The CCNA on the other hand was a game changer. This got me promoted to sysadmin after just four months in IT and it opened doors that the Network Plus alone would never have opened. I gained so much confidence and now I look for tickets where I get to hop into a switch or firewall and work alongside my network engineer buddies. And most recruiters and hiring managers that I've talked to just straight up respect CCNA more. It's seen as real proof that you can handle real life network issues and it will get you a job that's higher than help desk. The bottom line is that the Network Plus is great for beginners who want confidence and a foundation and the CCNA, of course, is going to give you a higher ROI if you actually want to level up. I hope this video has cleared up some of the noise and helped you decide which of these certs actually makes sense for your career. As always, thanks so much for the support. If you have any questions, comments, doubts, leave them in the comments. I respond to every single one. Be safe, be smart, make some good decisions, and good luck with your networking journey.